So hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you some general interface and concept of IMM from IBM servers. So it's called Integrated Management Module. I'm going to log in first. It's default user ID password. But the O is the zero, okay, O capital. Instead of letter O, it's a number O password. It's a default password. Yeah. Okay, this one is uh, IBM IMM module version two. So basically it's give you the general idea of this system, system status and uh, give you the general health report, event status on system board kit and uh, if you look at the event we can see all the event log okay and also you can configure the email for this uh, the if you have the email address to be alert so you can configure it here Pr service and support problems okay agreement accept so basically oh this one give you the option to contact the support directory Okay, it's kind of cool. Settings, I've been support country code file transfer. You can enable file transfer. Proxy download service data. Okay, so another big part. This one allow you to doing some control an update like the firmware update okay remote control you can remote control the server but some feature you need actual license okay so using this will require the activate key, okay? So I don't have the key anyway. Server properties, so you can assign the server physical properties or information. Power action, yeah. This allow you to control the power of the server, so it's uh, pretty helpful when you are uh, remotely control this server's power via network. Okay, so this uh, IMM allow you to control the server even it's it's a part off. You can part on through the network. Okay. Cooling device, fan, power module, how many modules, local storage, so this give you the view of the local storage, but actually it's not controlling the read card, so if you want to see more configuration you need check the RAID card memory how many memory installed this server supports 32 gig maximum okay only support one CPU server timeout see demonstration then lower and Okay, PXE network boot. 
latest the screen failure screen well, this one you can configure IMM itself firmware data what's the date see report users what kind of user allowed to access to this uh, IMM network you can configure a network for IMM itself like Ethernet SNMP DNS SMTP allow you to configure the SMTP server to send emails LDAP is allow you to authenticate with your Active Directory services Telnet allow Telnet access USB map this will allow you to map the map to a USB port okay port assignment so what port can be configured this IMM reset reset to default active activation key some feature need a key okay settings okay this is the main interface for IMM so if you have any question any comment please uh, subscribe and comment below thanks for watching